What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to create a rainbow in Adobe Illustrator. So as you can see in Illustrator already I have my color palette with all seven colors of the rainbow and then I have some cloud vectors right here. So that way when I finish the rainbow I can place these two vectors on both sides of the rainbow. But with that being said, let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is go to my shape tool. Right now I have the rectangle tool selected but I'm going to click and hold on that. And I'm going to go to the ellipse tool right here. All right. And then I'm going to hold the shift key and click and drag to make a perfect circle in my document like so. All right. And we can make that any color we want for now. We'll change it later on. But I'm going to make that like a dark blue color. All right. And now I'm going to make a duplicate of this circle here. So I'm going to hold the option or alt key. And then I'm going to click and drag this circle anywhere else in my document to make a copy of it. All right, and we're gonna change the color of that. We can make that any other color that we want. We'll also be changing that as well. And now I'm gonna take this newly made circle and I'm gonna make it a little smaller like so. And I'm still gonna hold the shift key so that way it's still a perfect circle, right? All right, and our two circles should look like this. So what I'm doing now is creating a ring out of these two circles. So that way, after I get rid of this brown circle here, I'm left with just this blue stripe, as you can see right now. And we're gonna make seven of those to make each stripe of our rainbow, right? So now I'm gonna click and drag to select both circles, like so. And then I'm gonna go to my Shape Builder tool, which would look like this, all right? And now I'm just gonna hover over this blue stripe here. You can click and drag to make a line like this, or you can just click and you can now see that it created a ring, but it's now the same color of our brown circle right here. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of this circle right here. So I'm gonna go back to my selection tool. I'm gonna click on that circle, hit the backspace or delete button. And I'm gonna do that one more time to get rid of this blue circle. And there we go. So now we're left with a ring for our rainbow. So what I'm gonna do now is take this ring I'm gonna duplicate that about six times so that way we can create seven stripes in total for each color of the rainbow, right? So I'm gonna hold the option or alt key. I'm gonna click and drag to make a copy of our circle or ring. And I'm gonna scale that down just a little bit. I'm gonna hold the shift key so that way it stays perfect. All right, and then we're gonna simply place it in front but I may have to scale it again, just in case. All right, and now we're left with two rings. That's one, and this is two. So now that I have two rings, I'm gonna duplicate both of these and scale both of those down. So I'm gonna click and drag to select both rings, hold the option or alt key, click and drag to make a copy, and then scale them down. All right, so now we have one, two, three, and four stripes. And now let's do that one more time to create the last three stripes of our rainbow. So I'm gonna click on this stripe here, hold the shift key, select this stripe, and select the next stripe. And now I'm gonna hold the option or alt key, click and drag to make a copy of them. Then I'm gonna go back to hold the shift key and scale them down. and then just simply place them in the middle. All right, and now if you look closely, you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rings of our circle, which will later on in the video turn into a rainbow. So now I'm gonna give color to each of these stripes here. So I'm gonna select our first stripe. That's gonna be a red color. And to quickly select the red color here, I have this stripe selected. And then I'm gonna to go to my eyedropper tool, which will be right here. And then up here in my color palette, all I gotta do is use my eyedropper tool on this red here. So I'm just gonna click on it. And you can see that that stripe sampled to the red color that we have in our palette. So I'm gonna do that to all these other stripes right here. So the next stripe, that's gonna be orange. So I'm gonna click on that stripe, eyedropper tool, select the orange color that's in my palette like so then the next stripe is going to be yellow so click on the stripe eyedropper yellow next stripe 
eyedropper green. Next stripe, eyedropper blue. Next stripe, eyedropper indigo. And then next stripe, eyedropper purple, like so. And now we have a circular rainbow. But now I gotta take this rainbow and split it in half so that way it's an, an arc shape. So I'm gonna take my direct selection tool, this white arrow here, and I'm gonna make a selection of the bottom half of our rainbow because with this direct selection tool, it selects the anchor points within our vector. So I'm gonna make a rectangle selection with this tool and it's gonna help me select the anchor points that are on the bottom half of our rainbow because once we get rid of those, we get rid of the bottom half, which is what we need to do. So I'm gonna lift up off my trackpad here and you can see that if I zoom in here, that these blue anchor points that are on the bottom half of our rainbow, those are what we selected with our direct selection tool. So now that they are selected, we're gonna get rid of them by hitting the backspace or delete button. And now we have a perfect arc for our rainbow. And now because I have some cloud vectors that are down here, I'm now gonna move those onto each end of my rainbow. And in my document specifically, they're on their own separate layer. So I'm gonna quickly move this layer up above our rainbow layer, like so. I'm gonna unlock that. And then I can take each cloud vector and simply place them on each side of our rainbow, like so. And there we go, we have a perfect rainbow vector in Adobe Illustrator. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I